I have a big question for everybody out today. What the fuck is this H3 podcast and who is this host? Get me the Bo Burnham H3. I got to show people this. These guys are weird on this H3 podcast. The set is like a mix. Their set looks like Joe Rogan mixed with Howard Stern. And the guy who hosts it, I just thought he was a regular white guy. It turns out he's like very, very weird. Everyone's saying H3 sucks. H3 is nuts. New fools. Okay. Let me show you this guy and then find a video with his wife or whoever. Yeah, the Crystalia one had his wife. Okay, get me that next. The H3 podcast. Welcome one and all. Wow, here he is. Who is this guy? Who is he? And how did this become a thing? All of a sudden, this guy is like the biggest guy on... Uh, on YouTube, the H3 podcast number 73 with Bo Burnham has 852,000 views. It was just released on July 13th. Okay, so you saw the counts views. Compare them to this. Now, it's hosted by this weird guy who I thought was just a laid-back white dude until I watched a little bit more. Watch how this guy acts. And then I got to see... What is this about? Where did he come from? What is he? Because he's not a comedian. This is really weird, and his wife's even weirder. Watch this guy talk. To the H3 podcast experience. We're trying to compete with Joe Rogan over here. Hell yeah, dude. My Look at his eyes. That a podcast can never compete with an experience. And he twitches. He has all these weird twitches that he does that I didn't notice. Ethan Klein is his name, and I believe his wife's on the show, and she's even weirder. Let me show you the wife. He had Chris D'Elia on. We've probably talked about this so many times, but we've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. And Logan Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the wife. Echo. Wait till you see this wife. Logan Paul. All right, we missed Logan Paul. Got it. We, we got that. He's, he's Look at her. Wait, it doesn't look that bad in the monitor, but wait till you hear her talk. So are these two like Israelis or what are they? Because <laughs> all of a sudden they're everywhere. I mean, if you're a YouTuber or if you use YouTube, they're like on every recommended thing. And they're weird and they have a slight accent where they talk like this. Yeah, like they're talking about the Logan Paul Crystal Lee thing and his wife keeps being like, that was so sick. Yeah, they're all saying say. they're deranged. She's deranged. <laughs> he was a drama whore at some point. He's got Tourette's. But why are they so... What happened? Why is this... They're saying, yes, he's a legit Israeli. I got this. Okay. Here. Something's something up. Something we've though. talked about a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you guys so, step on, on yeah. what you talked about. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, he's... I feel like that... Exchange. Okay, now look at this. Really? That shot, that's Howard Stern ripoff, like that logo and the purple couch. I don't know why he sits in front of a purple couch, but then the next shot, like when they show like the wide shot, it's a copy of Joe Rogan's set. Showed what a fucking dumbass he is. Wait till you <laughs> hear the wife. Maybe even just like how damaged he is from the whole yeah. suicide force thing. Yeah. I want I want to go over it with you. Yeah, yeah. If I'm, you I'm don't happy, mind, I'm happy to. Yeah. I want to yeah. go over this and and I want to get your thoughts on some of these Twitter exchanges. Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm curious, <laughs> your initial interaction yeah. when he said it's important that you watch. Right. No, it's not. Right. Now, how did how did Logan Paul come on your radar to begin with? <laughs> uh, because you were following. Uh, I don't want to watch this. I want to see that wife. I know, I get furious listening to Chris I know. talking about this fight. I yell at the screen. Oh, look at that. Bright that yellow so teeth. crazy. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, would you like to come that with me from there? Okay, so I guess that is him. him. <laughs> and then I thought, uh, that's so many that's, uh, emojis. He's so fucking amused. Yeah. Like, that's laughing for a long that's, time. Dude, that's neuro that Yeah, that's like... It's not funny anymore. Yeah, that's like... <laughs> After now the first like, two rows, it's getting a little sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. After two rows, you're like, oh, shit, man. <laughs> maybe he's just mentally imbalanced because maybe that's why... <laughs> like, why... How did people ever fall in love with these two to get them to the place that they are now? Like, what is the origin story? I, everyone's saying that they just did, like, YouTube reaction videos, like the content cop guy. That and then they just guy. started building up views, so then celebrities started going on, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing, but they actually aren't. Apparently, I don't know anything about them, though. This is really weird. 
he thought it was okay to shoot somebody. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> right. Right. Be like, all right, well, at least that. It, but um, and then when he said, and then I read it wrong. I first read it. I'm read laughing it. because I know why your comedy career took a dive. What? And not not I didn't read. I'm laughing because now I know why mm-hmm. you're coming. So I uh, thought he knew something I didn't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And I was like, does this guy? And then you know what's sick too? They're talking about the one time Chris and Logan Paul got into a two second Twitter fight. But what's even more sick is that all these YouTubers are having Chris D'Elia on their show to talk about the Logan Paul fight, just so that they could title. A clip, Chris D'Elia talks about Logan Paul fight so that when it's on YouTube, they can get a ton of clicks. So everybody's been inviting Chris D'Elia on to tell this stupid story so that they could clip it into like a 10-minute clip and, and, and make all this money off of it. That's how gross these people are. So, what, 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 what did I do that I don't know that's bad, yeah, right? Yeah. That, by the way, that's all, that's uh, so much about me. Like I'm like, uh, did I do something? Like yeah. if my head is like, if I well, for... because it's such a stupid comment, you almost want to believe that it's like, oh my god, does he actually know? Is something? there something else, right? right. Like yeah, like, yeah. Like did he see me you're... fucking litter or something? <laughs> Here's Here's your she comes. first response: the no, it's not was so not like deserving of anything more than just just, pe- just moving on, it. just yeah, okay. or just like ah fuck off or whatever. The but, but he but... took it so personally, yeah. like with that response. Yeah. Also, what is it? Yeah, in... That's good. <laughs> that's some really good commentary. <laughs> they took it so personally, like with that response. And then everyone just plays along with it. Like these two are like. The Larry King of YouTube? Like, this is where you go and you want to be interviewed now? Like, this has really gone too far where, like, these crazy scammed YouTube numbers are now dictating, you know, who does what on the internet here. You know, because this show is terrible. I mean, they really, all the... If you listen to what these two hosts say, it's like nonsense. The Bo Whatever Burnham the... episode made them seem like made Bo Burnham seem like a respectable, cool guy. That yeah, I like. <laughs> well, maybe Bo Burnham is growing up. Yeah, you know it, w- w- why I brought this up is because Bo Burnham was on the show and he actually said that he finds Deadpool to be repulsive, that it's nonsense, and I had never heard anybody but me say that the movie Deadpool is nonsense. You know, most people love it. Most of all of you probably love Deadpool. I find it to be uh, probably one of the worst movies, probably one of the most cringe movies that I've ever seen. And I beg of you, do not go see Deadpool 2. I don't want to see... You know, it's like seeing Drake. Drake, one billion streams. What are they going to say? Deadpool broke all the box office records. Deadpool 2. I don't want to see that. So I'm begging you, please help me. Let's not let this thing break all the records. It's cringe. Hey, buddy. Do you like dicks? Do you like dick scissors? That's not funny. (laughs) That's not funny. It's really, really shitty, actually. But But, he took it so personally, like, with that response. Yeah. Also, what is it in your response that, you know, educated him to now, like, why your comedy career took a dive? Like, there wasn't that much information encoded in right. your initial response. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right, yes. He's like, now yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know, because I wasn't really <laughs> trying to make a joke. Yeah. Even. I was just, like, saying something. Yeah. Right. So that that's, a, that's I guess, like, in comedy, like, you'd say what he did was fundamentally flawed, right? Ooh. Oh, on another, yeah, it's disgusting. On another podcast, he was on Theo Vaughn's podcast wearing one of these champion sweatshirts, which are... Everyone wears them. I mean, champion, like, to wear champion now is, like, almost like it's over already. You no. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I believe it's Unless it's, it's your Scars Club champion hoodie. That's not champion, though. You're not wearing that to support champion. Yeah. Okay? So, like, right now, uh, champion came back in style, like, a year ago, a year and a half ago. Kanye was wearing it. Everyone was wearing it. Okay? But now it's, like, done to death. You go to Urban Outfitters, and everything's champion. It, trust me, it's on its way out. So Chris D'Elia is wearing the champion sweatshirt. And I'm just saying this because there's probably a lot of people out there that didn't know champion came cool again. You're thinking of champion like me. When we were kids, champion was sold at Walmart or Target or something like that. And it was just low budget clothes that suck. But now they make like a nice heavyweight sweatshirt. Okay. 
But Theo Vaughn doesn't know that, okay? Theo Vaughn didn't know that Champion came back in style. Chris D'Elia was on Theo Vaughn's show, and he's like, he let Theo Vaughn compliment him even though it wasn't right. Like, Chris knows. Okay, so this is what happened. Chris was wearing a champion sweatshirt like this on Theo Vaughn's show, and Theo Vaughn was like, man, I just really respect your style. Like, you just throw on, like, a champion sweatshirt, and, like, you make it cool again. And he was like, yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah. As if he was the and one. And it's like, no, 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 Chris, you didn't do initiate that. Like, you waited till the whole world thought champion was cool again and wore it, but you're taking Theo's compliment as if you're, like, the trendsetter with it because Theo didn't know. So you could catch Chris doing a lot of wormy stuff like that. Ooh, I hate him. Yeah, he really is the worst. He's low key the worst. Hi. Okay, key so this the is worst. the H three podcast. Look at her. And I want to he hear. Acts like literally everyone pretends like they don't know anything about what Logan Paul does, so that they can just own him over and over, as if everything that he ever says is him being a hundred percent serious, yeah. not a joke, like it is. Somebody says. What is this? Currently wrapping Fila slides and sneakers with Tommy underwear been done to death. What is this about? Um, yeah, I'm wearing a Tommy Hilfiger hat right now. But only because it's uh, neon green, of course. Uh, and a lightweight summer hat. Uh, okay, I just want to hear a little bit more of his wife talk. And then do we know? So are we satisfied with this H3? This is just like another YouTube accidental mistake youtube produces a lot of these you know you have blazendary and blake linder with a million subs uh the the uh the numbers are going into the wrong hands on youtube because of these algorithms and when it comes down to it people will watch anything it's what is put in front of them first right so that's what's happening. These people are falling into these lives where, yeah, you get into that algorithm and you start racking up those numbers and now you're in that homepage zone on YouTube and you're just going to keep building. But then people like Chris D'Elia go on this show and pretend it's actually a show when it's really just these two got lucky off that algorithm. Very weird. <laughs> like it's not it's not you're not doing it to Jerry Seinfeld who's gonna be like who's that kid oh who yeah. cares yeah. Right. I want you to do this yeah. I'm going to write back to you yeah and oh, and this God, is what I see? do so Woo! like did you see those movements look at this guy's eyes I am going to so tell you and then the guy goes rah, 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 rah. do this yeah. just, I'm going to write back to you yeah and and, and this is oh, what I do so like. Did you see that? I hope I'm going to see it one more time. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. Anyway, we can't find it again. Let's just, I just want to hear his wife. She she says such crazy thing. The youngest fans were, but I felt like that. Because they brought up the age, birthday. too. It was kind of well, like. The age, right. Yeah, exactly. It really right, yeah. It. And I, but I was like, this is a good enough. To me, I was like, this is funny enough to bring that up. I just didn't want to be like, oh, well, your fans are stupid, you know. Yeah. They're not. They're just young. No, yeah. and yeah. and the truth is, if you ever do look up like fan meetup photos, like, yeah, it's pretty shocking. Yeah, can you guys like a pregnant lady be like, "Oh, you're a fan"? No, my baby is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he, I, and and, and, and is that Logan Paul? <laughs> the and fucking then and then, he doesn't so, stop. No, but here's the thing. He, I, I think, and this may not be right, but I think he wanted to have the last word, but he didn't want me to see it. Okay, I can't take that, Crystal Leo. We could watch that guy for hours lying. Uh, so, okay, the H3 podcast, I'm glad I got that uh, figured out there because I was very confused. Where did these people come from? What is the meaning behind them? They seem so weird. Maybe we should attack H3 in a big way and make a big splash and steal some of those people away. Yeah.